Welcome everyone to Heart Expanding Yoga and Meditation. And as you probably guessed it, the movements and meditations today are focused on opening and balancing the heart physically and also energetically. So, so when we're working with the heart chakra, we are working to um, increase love and compassion towards ourselves and others. It's a giving and receiving. So physically, we are working on the heart and lungs and energetically, when we're balancing the heart, see the heart chakra is the way station in between the upper chakras, so the more spiritual energetic chakras, and then the lower chakras, the physical chakras. So when the heart is not balanced, it can hinder progress and growth in the upper chakras, but then also hinder what you're manifesting, manifesting physically from the lower chakras. So really important to balance the heart. So without further ado, let's start. So take your folded blanket or your, or a little pillow, place it underneath, well, right behind your heart. So that your shoulders are on the floor and relax your arms, palm, palms up away from the body, feet wide and hip distance, relaxing here. Soften into the supports beneath you. Notice the sense, the gentle sense of openness that you're feeling now in the chest. Collarbones widen. Notice your breath at your heart, the center of your chest. As you're noticing the sensations here at the level of the heart, bring an image of a flower at the center of your chest. As you begin, as your heart begins to open, imagine it's like flower petals blooming, a beautiful rose at the center of your chest, opening up, blooming to the world, bringing its beautiful gifts, beautiful scent, aromatherapy, everyone has beautiful gifts. So with an open heart, you are open to receiving compliments and receiving the knowledge, the wisdom of your beautiful gifts. And then when you're feeling love and compassion and happy, you expand outwards and be of service to others with your unique gifts. Begin to deepen your breath as you inhale, breathe in through your nose and you're all the way down to your belly, belly expands in all directions, filling up the lungs, expanding ribs all the way up to the collarbone, and then exhaling the air from the collarbones, contract the ribs, contract the belly, belly button to the back of the spine. So 100% of the carbon dioxide flows out. And then you can bring in fresh oxygen on the inhale, expanding your lungs, opening your heart. And on your exhale, release that which no longer serves you. including carbon dioxide, waste, toxins, and any emotions that no longer serve you out through the exhale. up. 
lift the sit bones into the ground, come to a seated position. Lengthen the, sh lengthen the spine, shoulders down, back chin parallel to the floor, and then tuck the head back slightly. So we're gonna be here just for a couple of minutes. If you need to sit on top of a block or a cushion, feel free to do that so your hips are higher than your knees and your spine is nice and long for alternate nostril breathing. So this type of breath decreases stress, decreases your heart rate, promotes well-being, strengthens your cardiovascular system and your respiratory system, so circulatory rate, your heart. And that's all in the research. It also helps the two hemispheres of your brain talking because each nostril is connected to a hemisphere. So when you're breathing alternately in a nice balanced manner, those, become, uh, those uh, start to balance themselves out and there's communication and harmony within the two hemispheres. So when you're breathing, breathe long, deep breaths, just like those yogic breaths that we just did. With your right hand, press your thumb onto your nostril. So we're gonna use the, the thumb and the ring finger. I will guide you through three, and then well, you'll just go on for a couple of minutes until I instruct you to end the alternate nostril breathing. So the breathing is, Inhale through the left, plug the left, exhale through the right, inhale through the right, long deep breaths, plug the right, exhale through the left, and you're equalizing each breath, probably about four, uh, a four count for the inhale and the exhale. So a nice long spine, shoulders down and back away from the ears, press the thumb to the, no to the right nostril, right thumb, right nostril, feel free to close your eyes, and then to supercharge your, your meditation, roll your eyes up to the third eye, right in between your eyebrows there on your forehead. Whenever your eyes become sore or tired, you can always relax them. And then when you're ready, roll them back up. This helps to stimulate your pineal gland. So exhale all the air out and let's begin. Inhale through the left nostril. Plug the left, exhale through the right. Inhale through the right, plug the right, exhale through the left. Inhale through the left, plug the left, exhale through the right. Inhale through the right. Plug the right, exhale through the left. Inhale through the left. Plug the left, exhale through the right. Inhale through the right. Plug the right, exhale through the left. Now keep on going. Balancing the breath, a four count for the inhale, long and deep, a four count for the exhale. Spine is long, chin is parallel to the floor. judgment and allow your experience to be your experience. Your 
experience is valid just the way it is. Do one more round, ending with the exhale out of the left nostril, and then release your hand. Keep your eyes closed and just breathe out of both nostrils. Bring the hands to, the side, to either side for sun breaths. Inhale, arms come up at the top of your inhale, fingertips touch. As exhale, fingertips go back down to the floor. Inhale, rise, expanding your arms is, a, is an expansion of your heart. Imagine breathless movement helps to balance all the body rhythms. Inhale, arms come up. And exhale, back down. Inhale, arms come up. This time we're going to twist. On your exhale, twist over to your right, right hand behind you, left hand in front, looking behind your shoulder. Inhale, untwist. Exhale, twist over to the left, right hand behind in front, left arm behind, inhale, untwist, exhale, twist to the right, exhale to the left. One more for each side, use your breath, follow it. Your breath is a wise, wise friend. Inhale back up, and twist. And exhale, float the hands down to meet your mat. And come on to all fours. Spread the fingers wide, hands on underneath, underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips for cat cow. Inhale, tilt the pelvis, arch the spine, shoulders down and back, looking up. Exhale, tuck the pelvis, spine to the sky, press the whole hand into the floor, chin to the chest, blade the knees spine. Inhale, tilt the pelvis, arch the spine, press the heel of the hand down and towards the knees to really compress the spine, the vertebra. Exhale, lengthen. Create a, 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 lot, a lot of space in between the vertebra. Inhale, compress, moving the spinal fluid throughout the spine. And 
One more. And inhale, come to a flat back. right arm reaches up to the sky. Exhale, thread the needle, palm up, lower the right shoulder towards the floor. Looking up towards the ceiling. Inhale, press up, reach the fingertips up to the sky. Exhale, thread the needle. Creating more mobility in the mid back where the heart is. Inhale, reaching. Exhale, this time, as you thread the needle, lower the right shoulder as close to the floor as you can, and stay here. Look up to the ceiling. Inhale, extend your left hand forward, if that suits you. And if you'd like to do another, another bind, inhale, arm comes up, turn the palm out, and place the hand onto the small of the back. Inhale, hand comes up. Exhale, down to the mat, to the right beside your face. Inhale, press up, reach up, and exhale, float the right hand down. Now to the other side. Inhale, left hand comes high into the sky. Exhale, palm up, thread the needle, lowering the shoulder towards the floor. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale. The needle. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale. Now stay down here. Feel free to stay here or inhale. Bring the right hand above the head. Inhaling it up. Turn the palm out. Exhale. On the small of the back. Inhale, hand comes up. Exhale, back down to the mat in front of the face, and then inhale, press, reach the big left fingertips up, and then exhale, lower the hands down, the hand down. Come up onto your knees. <laughs> Curl the toes under for camel. Bring the hands on the small of the back, fingertips pointing down, squeeze the elbows together. This could be your camel pose. If you've got a little more arch going on, draw your, your eyes up the wall, across the ceiling, press the hips forward, pulling Mula Bandha, engaging anus, kegel muscles, and the lower belly. As you reach back, making sure to squeeze the elbows together so you get it, so you, so you feel the back bend into the mid back. Head all the way back, or if there's any pinching in the neck, chin to the chest. If you have some more space here, you can release right hand down to the right knee crease, over to the ankle, left hand, knee crease to ankle, and press the hands into the heels. Shining your beautiful heart up to the sky, and then if you have more space here, you can always uncurl the toes. and breathe as deeply as you can. One more breath here. On your exhale, slide the hand back towards the low back. And then come to a seated position. And let's go back into tabletop. Hips high above the knees. Hands shoulder distance apart for heart melting pose. The yin style. Reach the hands out. Melt the heart down, keep the hips high above the knees, and melt the forehead to the mat. If there's any pinching in the shoulders, you can widen your hand stance. If you're not really feeling much in the shoulders, upper back, upper arms, then you could put something underneath your hands, so like a two, like a block each, so that your hands are higher, and then it increases the sensation in the shoulders and arms. Notice 
notice your hands contacting the earth. As you breathe in, imagine you're breathing in peaceful energy in through your fingertips, up your arms, into your heart. And exhaling softly, sending out compassion. Inhale, breathe in love. Love from Mother Earth, love from the universe. Breathing out, sending out compassion and love back out to Mother Earth, to the people on the planet and the universe. Imagine as you breathe in, because as you give, you so receive on the breathe in love and compassion from the earth, all the people on it, animals and sea creatures, plants, insects, the entire universe coming in through your fingertips, traveling out of your arms into your heart. Your heart becomes swollen with love and compassion. And exhaling, sending it back, giving it back. Bringing in a sense of gratefulness, of the reciprocity, the natural order of the universe is to stay open. As you give, so you shall receive. Give with an open, full heart and receive with an open, full heart. Inhale, slowly come up and come onto your back. For a twist. So bend your knees into your chest. This gets the twist higher up into your spine, so you want to go into your mid back. Arms, palms down, just relax them, shoulder height along the floor, and then lower your knees over to the right. As close to your hip arms as you can, head to the left. If you need a block or your prop underneath your knees so that you can relax completely or even in between the knees. Breathe long, deep yogic breaths. shoulder pops up off the ground and it's comfortable that's great you're getting a little extra in the left shoulder in traditional Chinese medicine when you're working on the heart you also 
incorporate the arms. So if you're feeling it on the arms and shoulders, you're also working on the heart. Be with your inhales and exhales. And notice how the sensation changes in your body. Bringing a sense of curiosity, suspending judgment, and sending yourself compassion. Exhale, all the air out. On your inhale, untwist and bring your knees toward your chest. And then on your exhale, lower your knees over to the left. So either placing the block underneath your knees or in between your knees, whatever's comfortable. And then head to the opposite direction, making sure that your knees are as close up to your arms as you can so that this twist can go more in towards your mid-back. Your mid-back is designed to twist more anyways. The lower your knees are, the more it goes into your low back.
exhale all the way around. On your inhale, untwist. Hug your knees in towards your chest. And then release your legs into your most favorite Shavasana. So for the meditation, feel free to put a little pillow under your head or a little cushion, maybe a little cushion under your sacrum, and maybe even a big pillow underneath your knees. That just helps you get really relaxed because in meditation, you don't want your body to be screaming at you. You want your body to be able to relax so you can really focus with your mind. So today's meditation is for the heart chakra. And it's a, it's a guided visualization and everybody visualizes in a different way. So you might be able to see pictures in your mind. You may, you may be able to feel the sense of feeling. And then there's even inner senses of smell, taste, and touch. So however the visions or the set, your inner senses pop up in your experience today, is exactly how it's meant to be. So as you're relaxing on your back, palms up, away from the body, feet wider than hip distance to relax the hips, bring your awareness to your breath. Notice the back and forth movement of your belly. As you breathe in, belly rises. As you breathe out, belly falls. Just notice the back and forth movement of your belly as you breathe in and out. It is also helpful to close your eyes when you're doing the visualization. eyes still closed, feel how supported you are where you are lying. You look down to see that you are lying on a wooden bench. As you take a moment to notice your surroundings, you can feel warm sunlight on your face and a gentle cool breeze. You realize, as you get up, to see it, that this bench is inside a garden. This garden is enclosed by tall walls built of ancient brick. And at the far end, you can see the entrance gate. Pay attention to the walls and any creeping plants that may be growing on them. By looking at the walls, notice how ancient this garden must be. You decide to get up from your bench and take a stroll around the garden. As you look around, you can see that rather than being a single open plan garden, this place actually has seven different archways and gates that lead to other separate gardens. Each of these gardens seems to be color coordinated so that the flowers and plants in each area focus upon one color. You notice how the overall feeling of the gardens is one of complete peace and tranquility and the strongest color of all is green. As you wander around, you notice how you're drawn to one archway leading to a particular garden. You decide to walk towards this archway and as you near it, you can smell a strong distinctive fragrance of roses. Notice this archway. Is it low 
or high. Are there gates keeping people, including you, out? Or is the entrance to this garden fully open and unobstructed? There may be a person guarding the entrance to this place, or even a particular memory. If so, you take notice of who they are and may even decide to ask them a question. Whatever you find here, notice how easy it is to enter the garden. And you enter the garden. There may be no one obstructing the entrance to the garden, in which case you walk straight in. The first thing that strikes you as you enter this sacred place is the scent of roses, closely followed by the sight of hundreds of these beautiful flowers. You decide to take a moment here to notice how large this rose garden is. Does it have clearly defined limits, like the walls of the first garden? Or does it seem to stretch into infinity? Are the roses neatly lined up in a strict order? Or are they wild and free? You feel yourself being drawn toward one rose in particular, and you bend down to smell its scent and feel its soft, velvety petals gently stroke the skin of your face. As you close your eyes to concentrate all your awareness on the scent of the rose, you feel yourself falling into the flower so that all you become aware of is being completely enveloped in the essence of the rose. It is here in the state that you become aware of someone who loves you. You may see them, you may simply think of them, or they may speak to you. What you feel here, however, is that you are completely and utterly unconditionally loved. In this state of peace and tranquility, you are completely safe and honored, and only those people who have loved you are to be found. You are reminded of your true essence. When you become aware of this person, you notice that they have something to offer you. This gift may come in the form of a physical object, or it may be a word or a prayer. Perhaps it is simply a hug or a kiss. Take some time here to really receive the gift and focus and marinate on the feelings of love and feel it expand outward from your heart, engulfing your entire body, cradled and enveloped in love.
You may spend as long as you'd like in a state of total loveness. And when you're ready, accept the gift of, with gratitude. And bring your awareness back to the Rose Garden. You can see the other roses around you and smell their beautiful scent. You decide to leave the Rose Garden in the same way you entered it, walking back toward the archway. You take a moment here to notice if the entrance to the Rose Garden has changed at all. If there was anyone or anything restricting access to the garden, are they still there or have they moved on? Is the height of the archway the same or has it changed? As you move back into the main garden, you notice again the bright green color that seems to permeate everything. You know that you can return to this place whenever you wish to, and again experience the safe, comforting feeling of being completely loved. You know it is especially easy to reconnect with this place when you meditate on the Rose Garden, expanding your heart with love and gratitude. Now that you have received all the healing from the Rose Garden, you, desire, you decide to come back to full consciousness. Allow the image to fade away from awareness and notice where your body contacts the support beneath you. As you breathe in, notice belly rises. And as you breathe out, belly falls. Noticing the back and forth movement of your belly as you breathe in and out. Begin to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Do little circles with your wrists and ankles. And inhale, reach your arms above your head, point your toes, give yourself a nice stretch. Bend your knees. Roll on to your favorite side and come up to a seated position. Root the sit bones into the ground, lengthen your spine, roll the shoulders down and back, chin parallel to the floor, tuck the head back slightly. And bring the hands to the center of the chest, pressing the knuckles of the thumbs into the center of the chest. This activates the heart chakra. Feel free to close your eyes. As you breathe in, your chest presses into the knuckles. And as you breathe out, knuckles press into the center of the chest. As we say in Irish blessing, may the long time sun, I will sing it for you. The first time is a blessing for yourself. Say it to yourself and bless yourself. And then the second time is saying it to others or sending it to others. May the long time sun shine upon you. All love surround you. And the pure light within you guide your way on. May the long time sun shine upon you, all love surround you. And 
light in me honors the light in you. Namaste.